Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The sales invoicing window is used to create customer invoices for items which you have shipped or services that you have provided. Remember that the amounts of invoices do impact the amounts that are shown in the Accounts Receivable General Ledger account. To display the window, select Tasks from the menu bar and choose the Sales Invoicing command. The invoice window is very similar in appearance to the Sales Order window. You fill it out in much the same way. Start by selecting a Customer ID. Double check the billing and shipping information. Enter a date into the date field and double check the rest of the customer information that appears above the line item area. Now notice that there are two tabs in the line item area which do not appear in the sales orders window. There's the apply to sales order number tab and the apply to sales tab. The apply to sales tab is where you would place items and services that you are selling directly to the customers without using the sales orders window. It is similar to the sales order window's line item area, and here you simply enter the items that you are selling and the amounts. Now the Apply to Sales Order Number tab allows you to ship selected items from a chosen sales order to the customer. You can use the drop down on this tab to select from which sales order you want to ship items. Those items will then appear in this tab's line item area, and you simply input how many of each of the listed items you will be shipping and billing. Now at the bottom of the window, you can check the tax code of the customer to make sure that it's set correctly, and you can change it if it isn't. You can also enter the freight amount if needed. Remember that the amounts that you input into this box are associated with the expense account that you set for freight within the item defaults window. You can also use freight as an individual line item within the line item area of the invoice if having only one freight account is inadequate for your business needs. The customer account information is shown in the lower left corner. Once a customer is selected, this area shows their receivable balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Clicking the right pointing arrow that appears in this area will show you a report on the selected customer. When you're done creating your invoice, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Sales Invoicing window to save the transaction. Also note that if you select a customer who does not have any sales orders outstanding, then you'll only be able to use the Apply to Sales tab when you're creating your sales invoices. And you fill in information in the line item area just as you would in the quotes of the sales orders window. And once again when you're finished you can either click the print or the save button in the toolbar at the top of the sales invoicing window. Now note that there are a few ways in which you can print invoices which you've entered into the sales invoicing window. If you do not intend to print the invoices in Sage 50, but you're simply recording them for accounting purposes, then you can type the actual invoice number that was assigned to the invoice in whatever external application you use into the invoice number field in the upper right corner of this form and then simply save the form. You'll then be able to receive payments against this invoice within the Receipts window at a later point in time when you receive the customer payment. Now if you do wish to print invoices entered into Sage 50, then you will not enter an invoice number into the form. Instead, decide if you would like to print just one invoice or a batch of invoices that you've saved. If you would like to print just one invoice at a time, you can simply display the invoice that you would like to print within the sales invoicing window and then click the print button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the window. You can then print the selected invoice using the form that you choose and also assign its invoice number while printing the invoice. Now however if you wish to print a batch of invoices then you should first create and save the invoices without assigning any of them an invoice number.
Next, select Reports and Forms from the menu bar and choose the Accounts Receivable command. That will open the Select a Report or Form window. Here you'll click the Forms tab in the upper left corner of the window to display the forms associated with the Accounts Receivable category. Ensure that the Invoices and Packing Slips choice is selected from the Form Type scrollable list in the upper left corner of this window. Then select the desired type of invoice to use from the choices shown in the Forms list below that. At that point, click the Preview and Print button that appears at the right side of the window below the preview of the form displayed in order to open a separate dialog box where you can set the criteria that will be used to decide which invoices to print. Note that after changing any criteria that appear on the left side of this window, you may need to click the Refresh List button to refresh the listing of invoices to print, which should appear at the right side of the window. Once you see the desired batch of invoices to print in this list, you can then click the Print or Email button that appears at the bottom of the window to print them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.